Good morning, YouTube. As you can see, it is technically morning. Um, happy June. Anyway, uh, I'm here to give you a uh, quick rundown on how to install Logmin Hamachi, if you may know Hamachi servers on Minecraft. Um, it's a quick, easy way to do servers without having to go through the port forwarding process, which sometimes is a real pain. So uh, this is how you install it with uh, install Hamachi on Ubuntu 11.04, as you can see with the dock. Um, now the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your root account. If you don't know how to do that, you may want to look it up. Um, you don't. If you don't know your, your, what your root root password is, you can uh, set it differently. Set the password while you're in your uh, administrator account uh, through some terminal commands. So if you don't know how to do that, go look it up. Make sure you know how to do it and uh, go and log in to your root account because it will not work in administrator or guest or any of those. So just make sure you're in your root GUI account, not just terminal. Um, after you've done that, you go and want to go to your terminal because the only way to install this is through your terminal. And uh, so once you have your terminal, uh, the other thing you're going to want to do is make sure you actually download the file. Um, now, what you want to probably type in is just like log min. See, I already have it up. Log min Hamachi for. Well, actually, no, that's not really what I was looking for. For Linux, you just type that in and you get the first one labs and betas. That's what you need to go to. It's the uh, beta version um, for Linux. And the command line version only. So there's no GUI, and that's all right. It still works. Once you know how to use it, it's really not that hard. Um, so once you get to the website and everything, uh, you can pick your version out, whether it be 64-bit or 32-bit. Um, most of these are based on processor or chipset. Uh, these little x86 and the i386 and that sort of thing. Um, right now I'm running a Core 2 Duo with, at 1.8 gigahertz with, uh, Intel, what is it, um, 4500 graphics or something like that. And, um, yeah, so I have, with Intel Core 2 Duo, that's what I'm using currently, so you can just go to the dot, the uh, x86, that works for me. So download that, extract it to your desktop. That's where I have it right now. And you're going to have this right here. Um, and it's important to know where that is, because that's where you're going to need to go to on the uh, terminal. So what you're going to want to do is type in cd-root dash desktop dash log main amachi dash two dot zero dot one dot x86 you want to type in that file name at the very end of the thing because it'll go to root as in your root account and then it'll go to desktop as in your desktop of your root account and then the actual file so once you press enter it'll pull you right into that now there's a file, if you pull this open, the .install.sh file. Um, that's what you're going to need to install, that's how you install the uh, Hamachi. So what you're going to want to type in is, I hate when it does that, uh, dash, um, install .sh. Now my version, I already had something installed, so it uninstalled my version first. As you can see, it said removing previous version, do, 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 and installed the new one, which really doesn't make any difference. Um, and then it says, how much blah, 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 is installed, see readme for what to do next. Now, really, you don't need to do much after this. Um, you're going to want to log into Hamachi. Now, the first thing I suggest doing is doing Hamachi, typing Hamachi H. Now, nothing special, just Hamachi space H, and that's it. This will pull up a list of commands of what you can type in into Hamachi, to uh, because as you said, as I said earlier, it's a command line interface, so there's no GUI, no pressing buttons. It's all typing. Um, and once you have it working, it's fine. It just sits in the background, kind of thing. Um, and you can go and play to your heart's content on Hamachi servers. Um, and uh, first thing you probably want to do is log in because you're probably not logged in as soon as you get there. And the other thing you probably could do is set nick. So if I was to do set or 
first thing you want to also remember to do is type Hamachi before every one of these commands. Just type plain Hamachi, nothing special. Um, and once you type that, you uh, put in the command afterwards. So I'm going to do a set dash nick. That didn't work out. Let's see. What did you do wrong? Um, Uh, oh, I forgot to put the nickname. Genius. Um, so I'll do that again. Machi set dash nick. And then I'm just going to put Iggy95. Setting nickname. Okay. So that's my nickname. So once you join a server or something, or um, uh, not join a server, but join a um, somebody's client or network or whatever. Uh, it'll show you as Iggy95, or, <laughs> well, it show me as Iggy95, or whatever your nickname may be. Um, and, as you can see there, you can do a create network, you can set a password, uh, you can show a list, I guess. And you can also leave a network, join a network, reject, approve, evict, delete, all those lovely commands. And, uh, so if I was to, let's say... Uh, you can also want to, you'll probably also want to log in. I'm, I'm, I'm probably already logged in, so once I do this, let's say already logged in, um, most of the time it usually is already logged in. It keeps it, keeps it running in the background kind of thing. So there you go. Um, very simple to install. It's basically working now, so all you need to do is join a server, create a server, um, and then have your friends go and play. Um, or I guess it, not even just friends, but uh, Hamachi is also used for uh, different. Uh, I guess it would be work programs, like stuff like um, what would it be called? Like peer working. Like if you want, if uh, multiple people on your team, your group, want to work together at the same time. I mean, it, there's something you can do with that. I'm not sure how Hamachi works exactly. But uh, it's basically creating your own private network and allowing certain friends to join or not join because of the password, obviously. Um, and you can also just not have a password, too. But uh, So, yeah, you can have certain pe people join. Uh, it's a very useful application. I'm not really here to explain how Hamachi works or what it, how it's use useful. But, uh, yeah, I know it's used a lot in uh, different video games and such, such as Minecraft. And, uh, yeah, I hope this really helps you out. Uh, I haven't really seen any modern videos for uh, installing Hamachi on Linux, so that's why I kind of wanted to go in and show you how to do it. Um, so, yeah, basic rundown, go into root, do the terminal, download the thing. Um, well, first download the thing, terminal, do all the commands like I showed you, and you should have Hamachi working um, just as it should be. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, catch you in the next video. Which, by the way, um, next video should probably be my uh, first unboxing of some items that I'm getting for my computer build. I'm building a computer this summer. I'm not going to really go into too much detail in this video, but I just want to give a quick mention. I'm uh, compiling some components, uh, starting from scratch, I guess it'd be buying all the components, the processor, motherboard, graphics card, PCU, or PSU, um, and uh, the case, the hard drive, all that stuff, and uh, I'm going to be building that up this summer, so hopefully I'll be having a better computer to uh, make some videos and play some Minecraft on, so um, hope you enjoyed it, hope this is helpful for you, the uh, video how to install Hamachi, and um, See you next time. Thanks for watching.